What's going on YouTube? Welcome to the end zone where we move the chains. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notification. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you haven't heard already, the St. Louis Battlehawks might be taking a huge hit before the season starts for the XFL. Rumor has it that Doug Meacham, former TCU offensive coordinator, back in the day, 2015-2014, Doug Meacham was one of the best offensive coordinators in college football, leading Trevon Boykin and the TCU Horned Frogs to an 11-2 season. Just left outside of the playoffs. I mean, they're an excellent football team, and Doug Meacham is a great coach. I think it was a great XFL hire, but apparently he wants to go back to TCU, his college where he coached back in the day. Now, this is not good for the Battle Hawks. There's no sugarcoating it. When you lose a coach, it's a very big deal. And I think one thing that we can look at kind of parallel between the XFL and the AAF, the Atlanta Legends were a team who lost coaches earlier in the season. Now, they lost Brad Childress, their head coach, which is obviously more of a big deal, but they also lost their offensive coordinator, Mike Vick. Yes, the Michael Vick, who played for the Atlanta Falcons, Virginia Tech, and the Philadelphia Eagles. One thing that's very hard for these teams when they lose their coordinators or when they lose their coaches, you see, they've already had mini camps. They have an offense installed, they have plays that they're, they're running. Now that a new guy is coming in, everything is probably going to change because this new guy isn't going to want to run Doug Meacham's offense. Hopefully the Battle Hawks can hire from within and get a coach who could follow Doug Meacham's plans or possibly just use the Battle Hawks head coach as the offensive coordinator, which we're already seeing Kevin Gilbride do with the New York Guardians, so it's not really a stretch. Let me know what you think down below. The Atlanta Legends were the worst football team in the Alliance of American Football, and they had plenty of talent. Malachi Jones, Aaron Murray, who's now the quarterback for the Vipers. And like the Atlanta Legends, unfortunately, the St. Louis Battle Hawks could be going into Houston camps behind every other team having to come up with a new offense and come up with new chemistry between a coach and his players. Let me know what you think down below. Is this bad for the Battle Hawks? Is there any coach who you think the Battle Hawks could hire or promote from within? Or do you think the head coach of the Battle Hawks should just take reins over this offensive play calling and offensive coordinator position? Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe so we can move the chains.